Binbirdurek Cistern is the second largest surviving covered cistern in modern Istanbul. Its name means the 1001 column cistern in Turkish. It possibly was a cistern of Philoxenos, known in historic sources to be located somewhere west of the Hippodrome of Constantinople. Binbidurek cistern probably dates to the 5th or 6th century. It has a rectangular plan measuring around 64 by 56 meters with brick walls and beveled corners. Its walls were completely lined with hydraulic plaster that kept water from leaking through the walls. It originally had a capacity of around 40,000 cubic meters of water. It was supplied by the same line as the Aqueduct of Valens, which was the longest aqueduct system of the Roman world, bringing water from almost 130 kilometers away. Its brick vaulting consists of groin vaults, supported by 224 Proconesian marble columns. Its double columns, connected with stone collars, are almost 12 meters tall. They are topped with simple impost capitals, probably produced for the building. The capitals and stone collars have numerous masons' marks, which perhaps refer to the names of master masons or companies of masons. Much of the current floor is higher than its original level, as sediment accumulated over many centuries. Currently there is only one section of the cistern showing its original depth. Binbir Direct Cistern was also the substructure of a building. It is traditionally identified as a cistern of the palace of Philoxenos. However, even the name of Philoxenos is confusing as there were several figures with this name in late antiquity. It is possible that the cistern of Philoxenos was located elsewhere, such as a nearby structure, usually identified as an open air cistern. By the Ottoman era, Bimbir Direct Cistern no longer functioned as a water storage facility. Travelogues described the cistern being used in the production of silk as early as the late 15th century. In the 19th century, it was again used as a workshop for silk spinners, as can be seen in drawings from the period. In the 20th century, it was first used as a warehouse before becoming a museum. <laughs>